Ladies and gentlemen, greetings to you all. My name is Abdul Latif Khalida, 23 years old Ugandan and a third year student at Mountains of the Moon University. Thank you for gathering here with me today as we discuss this matter of utmost benefit for our country. Corruption is a cancer. It is a cancer that eats away our faith in democracy, diminishes the instinct for creativity and innovations, already tight national budgets crowding out important national investments. With this at hand, corruption is worse than prostitution. The latter might endanger the morals of an individual, but the former invariably endangers the morals of the entire country. What? What shall you tell your children about their mother who died due to poor health facilities? What shall you tell your deceased child who died in the hands of a reckless doctor who wanted an incentive for his job? My fellow Ugandans, our health and education systems are the bedrocks for a thriving society, a sanctuary and fountains where well-being as custodians and architects of the society is preserved and life is saved. However, when this gigantic cancer corruption infiltrates this sacred place, the consequences are severe and a thorn in the flesh. Corruption is an insidious plague that has a wide range of corrosive effects to the society, and a mind's rule of law and democracy leads to violation of human rights, distorts market, leads to organized crime, terrorism, and other threats for human life to flourish. We all know that statistics don't lie. Over 5,000 corruption cases have been reported to the office of the IGG, but yet to be handled. As a result, there has been a region of public trust in the central government. Look, you all have to anonymously agree with me that there have been an equal access to health care in our country today. You and I have seen it that corruption excavates the existing inequalities in our healthy sector. Those with the means to pay a bribe, receive ultimate treatment, live in those who have no access to funds for bribe, navigate a system that would be equal for us all. This is in line with violation of human rights. And only the other day we read it in our newspaper that the rich and the privileged class get treatment in VIP sections of our referral hospitals as the Wanaiji Gampo on queues for a paracentum tablet. We all know that the future of a country depends on its education systems. But how can we determine the future of our country through its education systems when the funds that would be able to improve the infrastructures, buy textbooks and train education personnel or crample to thin air due to corruption? You and I have seen how students get first class degrees without attending any lecture. We have seen how absenteeism is at its high rate in government education institutions. And really, what shall we tell our children for this maze that we are creating today? What shall you tell your children in the coming generation when they ask you about the role you played in ending this gigantic cancer that is infiltrating in our health and education? systems. My fellow Ugandans, it is our role to end this gigantic cancer and it is our role to set remedies to make our country a better place to live in. Should we just remain silent and wail and see our society grapple to ashes? This will be a menace, isn't it? Then what should we do? We all have to demand for transparency and accountability. Transparency should be demanded in the utilization and allocation of public funds. To put that aside, whistleblowers protection should be encouraged. To end this cancer, we need everyone's involvement. Therefore, communities should come together as partners in order to root out this gigantic cancer. The fight against corruption is not just a moral imperative, but rather a, an ethical necessity that every Ugandan should have at heart. Let us advocate for the better services that ultimately serve the needs and the goals of the citizens in the entire country. And let us advocate for the health and education facilities that benefit all the citizens in our country regardless of their religion or their social economic status. 
Remember, corruption is a threat to development and good governance. Therefore, the government and all people should come together in, as partners in order to achieve this national objective. Remember, every step you take towards fighting this gigantic cancer is a step towards saving our whole nation. For God and my country,